Hi there, my name is Kelly and this is the home of Mike and Kelly and I'd like to introduce you to our home and also our little project. Our home sits on the banks of the Conestogo River overlooking pasture land that often features dairy cattle grazing and we have the historic old iron bridge right next to us. We've done a lot of work on our property. It was originally owned by a Mennonite couple. Uh, they do things just a little differently, but we're not there yet and we've run into some struggles. So uh, our lower patio still needs to be dealt with, but I th think we've uh, done an acceptable job otherwise with a nice uh, fireplace to sit by in the evening. But the biggest problem comes when we go behind the house here and encounter the horrific retaining wall that isn't doing very much retaining at all. This area is built into a hill and we have used it and would like to continue to use it as an area where our dogs can be safely fenced. But you will see they aren't too safely fenced the way it is now. The boards of heave look little one is trying to escape as I speak. Um, everything's given way. And the original job just wasn't very well done. And continuing along. You will see uh, our stairs are pretty scary. And especially in the winter time, they uh, move and heave and um, are quite uh, quite a dangerous aspect of our home. Uh, there are nails sticking out where nails should not be. As you can see there. We also have sagging interlocking brick. The location of the septic is a concern as it's located where you see here and makes it difficult to access the retaining wall area. But overall we think this is a pretty awesome spot to live. We just love seeing the horse and buggies go by, the cyclists, the fishermen, great place. So I think you can see uh, there's a lot of work to be done here, uh, though we have completed so many of the things that we wanted to do and we're thrilled with living here. We love it here. Um, this last little bit has proven to be a challenge and we would so love it if you could help us out. Make it right.